to these. How's it going? Tonight I am going to attempt to make candy ginger for the first time. I have never even tried candy ginger, so I don't even know if it's going to be good. I've heard it's good. I've heard it's good. So, we shall see. Okay. The recipe I am following, it says I need one cup of fresh ginger peeled and sliced into rounds about one eighth inch thick. So, I'm hoping that that little chunk right there will give me a cup. I think ginger is my, my new favorite, did you say spice? Herb? It's not herb, spice. Not spice. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It tastes good. How y'all doing? I'm ready for whatever holiday you celebrate, if you celebrate, or just having a happy day. Anthony's sleeping right now for this part. He'll be in with me in the next video for the tutorial or the mukbang part of it. Ah, oh, this smells so good. Yum, yum, yum. I'm hoping y'all can hear me okay because I'm on a, a different device. I'm on my tablet this time. My old phone, it completely crapped out. Uh, I don't think I can get any more use out of it at all. So, I've used it non-stop for like two, three years. Two, let's see. Three years, I think. For videos, pictures, everything. But it's my old phone and I don't have, um, say, data on it. I have data on my new phone. The other, other one I just kept to use for a um, camera. Camera and video camera. It's a good way to get extra, a little bit of extra life out of your phone. It's hard to get. Oh, that peel feels a little bruised. It ain't gonna be perfect though. I'll tell you that much right now. Ugh. I actually didn't think I was gonna get this um, started tonight. This video started tonight because my parents were fighting tonight over my dad wanting my mom to buy a new coat. Her coat looks fine. Like, ugh. Way better you gotta come in and almost basically intervene because your dad is getting your mom so upset. I worry about him getting her so upset and then her having a stroke or heart attack. I love the old fart, but it's like, come on. Well, because he thinks he's gotta keep up with the Joneses. It's not the way to be. <laughs> Telling you that right now. That's a losing battle right there. Keep up with the Joneses. Ow. Get all the way in there. Get everything. Actually, use a knife. Watch me cut myself. Actually, don't watch me. <laughs> that would not be a good thing. I need that right now. <sighs> don't want to cut myself. Super, super excited. If things go as planned, then Anthony and I have a date night set for um, Friday. 
to go to a, I guess you say a Christmas, have a Christmas dinner, a little early Christmas dinner. We're going to go to a Chinese restaurant that's got really good um, Chinese food. But it is quite a lot um, drive away. It's like two hours away each way. We're only able to do this kind of a date like every couple of months. It's not something we do all the time. Usually we don't have the energy for it. I mean, last couple of days even, I've been struggling with energy levels. And then dad arguing, that doesn't help my cause any. <laughs> so, with chronic fatigue, for whatever reason, if I get super excited or if I get upset and angry or anything like that, that affects my energy levels also, let alone getting up and keeping busy. That wears me out too. So, but I'm super excited about it. Nonetheless, um, they have an all-you-can-eat buffet. And we're going to go on a Friday night. So it's going to be all-you-can-eat crab legs also. I'm hoping to get a video, but I don't know how I want to do it with this new tripod. Because it stands like two feet. I don't want to set a two-foot tripod on the table with this. So I might have to figure out some way of propping my um, tablet up on the table. So we shall see. I will try to get creative and I will try to get a video. I ain't promising. Okay, I think that's going to be about it for the moment. That's about all I can get. Okay. Because I need three cups of white sugar. Oh, this is from the www.kitchme.com. K-I-T-C-H-M-E. Dot com. Uh, it takes about 65 minutes to prepare. I'm guessing it's about 10 servings. Okay, three cups of water. Okay, for the candy ginger, mix together sugar and water in a large saucepan and bring to a boil. When the sugar is dissolved, add ginger and boil for 45 minutes or until the ginger is tender. Drain and reserve the liquid. Transfer the ginger to a wire rack placed on top of a baking sheet to dry for 30 minutes. Toss the pieces of sugar to coat. Spread out in a single layer on a parchment or wax paper and dry completely. Store in an airtight container. It goes on to tell about the ginger syrup. I'll get to that part in a minute. You get. And... Scoot you over here just a little bit. Maybe. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Stay there for just a moment. All right. What was that again? I see the sugar and water. Okay. How much sugar? How much sugar? Three cups of sugar. Three cups of sugar. Okay.
say okay mix together sugar and water in a large saucepan bring to a boil should stir it a little bit It's dissolved, add the ginger. I guess I the meantime I'm going to slice my ginger. So I'll go back to doing that. Get it stirred. I've never tried this before, but I'm going to kind of guess it's going to be like a sweet and spicy. Go ahead and slice my stuff really quick. Any of you guys try this and what do you think of it? I'm so curious to try this. Can't wait till it's done. Smells so good. I'm gonna pause while I finish chopping this and getting things, you know, underway. Back in a little while. Okay, y'all. I got after the sugar dissolved and it was boiling. Well, actually, boiling and dissolved the sugar. I put my sliced ginger in there. I don't have a lid to that pan. Can find out. So I had to improvise. So, it's supposed to um, boil for like 45 minutes. So, I will be back in a little while. Catch you later. Okay, it is time to take the ginger off of the stove. Let's see. Take your boil for 45 minutes or until the ginger is tender. Drain and reserve the liquid. Hope this came out good. <laughs> I have a bowl in the sink with a strainer above it. I'll show you. It's like still bubbling. So it's like very, very hot. So be careful. drop the stuff out. I have a mess on the stove where it splattered a little bit. Okay, what's the next step? Transfer ginger to a wire rack. Why did I not get this out beforehand? Wire rack. Transfer ginger to a wire rack. Placed on top of a baking sheet. Okay, I can do this. Yes, you need it. Okay. Wire rack on top of a baking sheet. I don't know how it's going to all fit on there because. Let's see that. Okay. I have the. my device crept out of me, by the way. I have the ginger spread out on a mesh wire thingy. So that will be laying up there for about 30 minutes. So I'll be back in a little bit when it's dried to finish the process. Back in there. All right, here's the finished ginger. I have coated it with sugar. It's all sparkly. 
and put just a little thin layer of sugar down in there. I'm going to get it all in there. There is the finished ginger. Yum! So I'll be back in a little while for the mukbang car things. Perfect. Welcome back, and this is, I forgot to say at the beginning of the video, but this is, what day is today, 10? Yeah, Vlogmas yeah. Day 10. So I forgot to say that at the beginning. Wow, this must go by fast. So this is the candy ginger that I made. Candy Vicky. <laughs> well, you're a ginger. Look pretty. Expression your face. I'm not a fan. spicy at the same time and it's got way too much ginger taste to it yeah that's why it's called candy ginger don't taste anything like redhead <laughs> well I would like it hmm. <laughs> this is what the bowl looks like I added the remaining sugar that I had that I was stirring it up in. <laughs> Problem there, dear? Hey, clean your sinuses out. That I could use, but... Oh, that's funny. Well, I like it. First time ever making it. First time ever trying it. Not bad. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Don't love that. <laughs> but nothing wrong with it. They accept the taste. You want another bite to try it again? No. You might like it. It might. You might be a, a acquired taste. Yeah, it's definitely an acquired taste. It's good. I think it might depend on um, whether you like spicy or not. Like Still, I like it tasted too much like ginger. Yeah, that's why it's called candied ginger. Duh. Hello. <laughs> but anyway, I guess it kind of depends on if you like spicy stuff or not. Like him, he doesn't like spicy. I don't like too spicy. Me, this wasn't too spicy. Wasn't too spicy. It was too much like ginger. I'm not gonna repeat it again. That's part of ginger. Ginger is spicy. I said it wasn't too spicy. It tasted too much like ginger. How is it supposed to taste? Oh yeah. <laughs> was it supposed to taste like chocolate? Sure, that'd be better. Oh, you're a dork. I love you. So, anywho, we tried it. I made it. We tried it. I like it. Don't be sticking your tongue out at me. Oh, God. Uh. Anywho, that was one of my mini Christmas goal lists that I'm trying to do this year, but I'm struggling to get some stuff done because of being fatigued, but at least I got this done. I'm wanting to make homemade pumpkin bread, but I haven't got that done yet. Between being fatigued, needing, needing, needing lots of sleep, and then having to compete for the kitchen when my parents aren't home because they have the TV up so loud all the time. 
I'd get copyright strikes for like crazy if I did that. So, anywho, catch y'all later. Uh, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. Check out the links down below. Uh, I have a new, I will have a new link in the description also. It is to my unique web page, unique makeup. Uh, check it out if you're interested in any makeup. Let me know, and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.